Pain after hip replacement surgery is strongest in the first days after surgery, reducing to mild pain very quickly. On return home, many patients are able to manage their pain while using extra strength Tylenol and an anti-inflammatory. You will leave the hospital with a prescription for a mild narcotic medication in case you have some more severe pain. At most, you're likely to need narcotic pain medication for the first couple of weeks after surgery. After knee replacement surgery, the pain can be more severe and may require a stronger narcotic. You will be given a nerve block as part of the surgery. You will leave the hospital with a prescription for a strong narcotic, such as hydromorphone or oxycodone, for use in the first week or so after surgery. Narcotics can be very addictive and may have many side effects, so it is important to only use them when needed and to switch to a milder pain medication as soon as possible. You will also be taking extra strength Tylenol and perhaps an anti-inflammatory during this time. After two to three weeks, you may not need narcotic medication at all during the day. It is common for night pain to last a bit longer, so you might still need some kind of a pain medication for use at night during the first few months after surgery. This is usually either Tylenol or an anti-inflammatory. Follow the specific recommendations made by your surgeon and nursing team about taking your medications. Your family doctor can also help advise you about how to wean off narcotic pain medications. Most patients are sent home from hospital with a waterproof dressing that does not need to be changed for the first seven days after surgery. It is normal to have some drainage or bleeding from the surgical incision. It is also normal to have some redness around the staples. Contact your surgeon if there is more drainage than the dressing can absorb, or if the drainage is yellow or greenish and particularly foul smelling. You should also contact your surgeon right away if you are told you might have an infection in the new joint. It is normal to have significant bruising and swelling in the operated leg. The leg may be swollen, bruised and warm from the upper thigh to the foot after either a hip or knee replacement. You may notice the swelling getting worse after you become more active and this is also normal. It may take months for the swelling to go away. Purple bruising is a normal side effect after surgery and may take several weeks to go away. Bruising and swelling will not affect your recovery. During your recovery, you'll slowly increase your activity level and will do specific exercises given to you by a physiotherapist. When resting, elevate your leg above the level of your heart to help reduce swelling. If you've had a knee replacement, applying ice or using an ice machine called a cryotherapy unit can be very helpful in managing pain and swelling. If you are using an ice machine, you can keep the pad on your knee any time that you are not walking or doing your exercises. Wrapping the pad with a tensor bandage can also help by applying compression. If you are using ice packs or cold gel packs, make sure that there is a cloth barrier between the ice and your skin and don't apply the ice for more than 20 minutes at a time.